Hello friends! Today we are going to play this game Ether? Either? Ether? Not sure how it's pronounced. Oh, Ether 1. Anyway, never heard of it. I saw it in the PlayStation Plus thing. It was free. I decided to download it. I have no idea what the game is. I don't know if it's a first person shooter. I don't know if it's a puzzle game. Don't know anything about it. I'm just going to blindly play it. I've literally never heard about it until this moment. So maybe it's fun. We'll try and figure it out. Let's go. Continue game. All right, so I can start a new game. Let's go to the options. Gameplay. Head bob. Everything looks fine. Controls. Alright, I'm sure I'll figure it out. Like I said, I have no idea what this game is. If it sucks, I'm going to quit. If it's fun, I'll keep playing it. I guess it's possible it'll be fun. Like I said, it was free, so... Hey, it's me. Listen, I, I'm sorry for the things I said earlier on. It's just... God, I really don't think you should go to that place. I, I, don't, I don't think they care. Not like they should. And before you think it, I know how it feels to want to feel safe, to want more. You know I do it. Jesus, do you know how I view you? Just another patient to squeeze money out of. Please, don't go tonight. What's up with the subtitles on that? Like, it wasn't even matching. Alright, so I guess it's a first-person type game. <laughs> it actually looks pretty good for being a game that was free. I mean, it's like $15 if uh, you don't have a PlayStation Plus or whatever. Alright, let's get going. I have no idea how to play this game. Press square to interact. Nothing's happening. Okay, X jumps. Square doesn't do anything. Do I gotta... <laughs> this is not good. Uh, it doesn't bode well. Okay. For some reason that wasn't even like working. Alright, that doesn't bode well for this game. If I can't even figure out how to open the door, I don't even know how I got it open because I was pressing square and it didn't do anything. All right, well the game actually looks really, really cool. I like the, I really like the graphics and stuff. Considering this was a, I guess this is like an indie game. I hold L1 to identify objects. Of in interest. the mid 19th century, advances in genetic and psychological sciences led to a series of astounding breakthroughs regarding the human genome. At the forefront of these experiments, the Ishin Initiative discovered and developed new ways of mapping the human mind, expanding the knowledge of our species. 1942, whilst the world was at odds with itself, hmm. the Ishin Initiative discovered patient zero. Already? Shortly after, the Ether Institute was born. With it, a completely new way to navigate the human brain. Projection. Allowing scientists to access areas of the conscious mind previously undiscovered by medicine. Placing our scientific studies at the apex of modern technology. So... How do you know if something's an object of interest? It doesn't light up or anything. So, hmm, I don't know. Hopefully I can figure out what's an object of interest. Ether Institute. I, I don't know if it's Ether, Ether, or Ether. I have no idea. I've never heard of this game. 
Oh, okay, it can run if I press R2. Press square to interact. It doesn't interact. Okay. So I guess I have to have this little dot on there. Okay. There should be a register on the reception desk. So once you've signed in, grab the key card from the top drawer and head on down. You will need it to gain access to the lower floors. I I don't know how to even get onto the the pad. Like how do I write my name? That's not good. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't even know how to write my name on the. There's no cursor. Oh, I got C somehow. <laughs> I don't even know how to write my name on this. The control. Oh wait. There we go. You gotta hold X and then the cursor comes up. That's weird. <laughs> Why would they do that? I, this game's gonna. I can tell this game's gonna be hard. Um, how do I press enter? Date. Hmm. I don't know what date is. That is so bizarre. You got you got to hold X just to get the cursor to come up. Man, there. If this is what we're gonna have to deal with, uh, that's not good. I have no idea what the date is. I don't have a calendar. Let's just say thirty. And what time is it? Let's go with ten. Ten, fifty, three, fifty-four. Who cares? All right. I know what's going on. Didn't she say to grab something out of here? Press square to open drawers and pick up items. Again, pressing that. Uh, okay. Restoration procedure for patient. J N two zero five seven. We'll commence shortly. Staff are advised to prepare chambers for initial projection. Huh? Well, it seems you best get a move on. There's plenty to do. And for you, plenty to see and discover. I'm going to be guiding you through the process of restoration this evening. And hopefully ensuring that nothing terrible happens to you. Oh, shit, what happened to that? Is it gone? I'm in restoration chamber number three. Restoration chamber three. I wonder if I need to get like a piece of paper and a notepad out to like keep all this stuff written down. Um, can I re-examine that artifact I just picked up? <laughs> it, I really hope like it's not, okay. I can grab it. I wonder if I need to fill this out on here. 17, so there's six digits and there's no, I guess not. Hmm. Yeah, those are all legitimate dates, so... I don't know. Maybe not. I feel like, um... I don't know. Some sort of gas coming out of that. That's not good. Okay. The Restorer. The next step in human evolution. This gallery. Where did she tell me to go? I don't remember.
items can be placed here. Well, why do I want to place items there? Ready for other solution 3.5 loading. It's been due to insufficient data regarding health and safety ratio of positive and negative effects upon consumption is currently one to two. It is worth noting that the current positive effects have shown the intended outcomes of this experiment clearly. Positive effects include a stronger, more defined focus in patients, as well as a stronger cognitive skills. Negative effects, however, have shown serious problems to the consumer, in some cases causing further short-term memory loss. I feel like I'm having short-term memory loss. Like, I don't even remember what's going on. Like, I don't remember what that lady said. I forgot where she told me to go. Okay, so I guess this is, uh, this looks like it's gonna be like a puzzle game. Definitely not gonna be like a first-person shooter. Oh, turn the radio on. No thanks, don't wanna listen to that crap. Hey James, I have totally set up the greatest prank to get McCarthy back this weekend, especially after what he did to my sandwich last week. I found out that he always works late on Saturday evenings, usually on his own, on maintenance with restoration chamber number three. You're not going to believe what I've cooked up. I replaced the fuse in the Rembrandt power box with the wrong type. When McCarthy comes to do the power check on the chair, it's going to make a huge bang. He's going to be scared to death. Yes, I know what's happening. All right, well, crap. I feel like I have no idea what's going on. I'm hoping that you're supposed to not know what's going on because I really don't know what's happening right now. This game is making me feel stupid. So that's fun. Hmm. This game would be really cool in like uh, VR. Like a, it looks pretty cool. Hmm. I do not know what's happening right now. Structuring memory, cognitive psychology. Can't open it. Oh, I can only pick up one item at a time. Ah, okay, so now I need to go. All right, I guess I need to uh, go place that item back where it came from, or on that one little cushion. Well, never mind. I don't. I don't really care for that book. I don't seem. Doesn't really seem to do anything. Maybe if I get an, another item, that's important. Attention all staff, new restoration chambers with the state of the art projection chairs were installed last week. It is important to note that there are new procedures that will come with this technology and it is important that each and every one of you comply with these rules. We do not want another staff fatal another staff fatality at this institution. Well that sounds fun. Another staff fatality. So what is this, like the 70s or something? Ready, load report, projection malfunction, loading, ready. Due to a bad projection, R157. Uh, what? You know, we do tell them not to leave the pre-designated path, to stick to the memory mm. routes laid out for them. But do they listen? Of course they bloody well don't. And unfortunately, recovery isn't always an option. Once you experience the deep recesses of another consciousness. All right, guess she's done. Uh, R157 has suffered severe hemorrhaging in the brain. 
This has resulted in a minor stroke impacting our patient's motor abilities. The investigation is still underway, although evidence points to a fault within the cerebral component of the restoration chair. Patient R157 is currently in the recovery chamber and depending upon treatment may have sustained damage to memory functions. Hmm. Okay. So it looks like the only thing in here that I can I can pick up this book, but I don't have anywhere to put it. So I well maybe there's something in here. All right, I'm gonna go back to that other area, place that thing down, and then no, I'm just gonna keep exploring the new area. We must be in the 1970s, 80s, or 90s, or something. Based on the computers, it looks like we're in like the 80s. I didn't even realize that she was like actually talking to me. I thought I was like listening to recordings. Okay, so <laughs> that's not good. I need to pay attention better. Wait, okay. Hold L1 to identify object of interest. Does that make it something glow or like let me know if it's an object of interest? I fail to see what actually holding R1 does. Okay, so if I don't hold, hold R L1, nothing happens. But if I hold it, then the name pops up. Uh, service, Dr. Phyllis Edmonds. Clinical diagnosis, dementia with Louis bodies. Recommended treatment, E1567 solution, subscription and restoration therapy, dementia. Okay, so I guess maybe my character has dementia? Shorten, gene, 69, female, British citizen, type blood A, yada yada, teacher, pinwheel, Unknown, unknown. Migrated to the USA in her 20s, only to return to the UK about seven years ago. Still remains a British passport, or retains a British passport, and has been confirmed to have been working as a teacher in Arizona for the past 30 years. Since returning, she has been residing in her own, in her town of birth, Pinwheel, Cornwall. Okay. She said something about... I don't like this whole have to having to hold L one thing. It just seems kind of pointless. But yeah, whatever. Not a big deal. I wonder what kind of gas they're like drugging me with. Okay, spare item can be placed here. I'll get my other item then. Three hundred A, twelve hundred A. Ah, okay. Maybe the code will tell me. Oh, never mind. I thought the code might have had that that stuff written on it. Well, I guess not. Can I place more than one item on this? I can. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of those. Then. Well, I think I don't know if there's any reason to do that. Rest. I can't read that first word because it's too white. May only carry one item at a time. Restorers. For God's sake. Why can't anything work around here? Am I Phyllis? Okay. We need to replace the fuse. You'll need to take the blown one out and replace no. okay. it. Okay, Phyllis is talking to me through this, I guess. By the computers over there. 
Ah, crap, I wasn't paying attention to what she said. Something about computers over there. All right, so. She now only accepts 300A. Oh, I accidentally grabbed the correct one. That wasn't so hard. Rembrandt repair. You have earned a trophy. Yay! So I earned a trophy. Can I save it? Oh, crap. Oh, okay. Well, I've been playing for 45 minutes already. Um, geez. I didn't realize I was playing for that long. All right, cool. Well, if I've been playing for 45 minutes, there's no way that I've been playing for 45 minutes. I did have the game on for a while before I actually started playing. Well, anyway, I'll go ahead and get in this chair, and then maybe if I can save it, that'll be the end of this episode. This game is pretty decent. I don't really know what's going on, but it, I guess it's kind of like a puzzle game. It, I, see, I could see it being fun. I wish the game would give you, like, an avatar, but whatever. Ooh, okay, cool. This is interesting. This game would be really fun in VR. I wish this was like a, like an Oculus Rift type game. This would be a good type of game for that, where you're not running around, but you're just kind of sitting there. All right, well. about to drown. <laughs> Can I move? No, I can't. <laughs> Just remember to... <laughs> <laughs> Classic trope. Here's the most important information. Remember to. Blah, 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 blah. All right, well. Okay, I thought it froze because the little loading box was moving. Hopefully, I can save it. I wonder, I wonder if it just auto saves or. What is this, Bloodborne? It's been loading for like 30 seconds, come on! Hmm. Okay. That was maybe if it was broken or something. You are in your case. You're probably going to come back here a lot, so please take some time to get acquainted with your surroundings. It keeps most restorers' sanity intact. For a short while, anyway. Press triangle to teleport, to teleport to and from the case. Okay, I guess, is this the case? Ah, it's the Matrix chair. Or, at least, I think so. I haven't seen the Matrix in like 10 years. I'm pretty sure that's what the Matrix chair looks like.
Looks pretty comfortable. Press triangle to teleport to and from the case. All right, well, I don't want to do that yet. I want to look, look around here. Restore projectors, restored projection or projectors. Okay, so I guess I probably have to solve like 20 different cases and then this maybe this like picture becomes more clear or something. Like, I don't know. Um, uh, I, can, I can place um, items here, but I don't have any items. I don't know. Can I save it yet? I can. All right, good. I can save it. So then this is a good spot to stop. This looks like it's kind of like a central hub area. So an hour and seven minutes. I cannot believe I've been playing that long. There is no way I've been playing for an hour and seven minutes. It's just, there's just no way. But uh, whatever. I guess that's what, that's what it says. <laughs> um, but that's a good spot to stop. Um, I still don't know how I feel about this game. I mean, I, I feel like it, it's got a really cool tone to it. It kind of reminds me of, um, it reminds me of Portal 2 a little bit for some reason. Like a more, like if Portal 2 had no humor, it, it just kind of feels a little weird. But, uh, I like it so far. Hopefully the, uh, I, I guess it's going to be like a puzzle game. And hopefully the puzzles won't be too difficult. But that's a good spot for the first episode, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, see you later.